Hello, everybody. Thank you for uh, watching my channel today, Cheap Crypto Miner. I'm very happy you're here. Uh, exciting day. We got a brand new upgrade uh, Chia GUI software, 1.3.5, which I will do in a minute, installation into my test computer, and see if everything goes well and there are no surprises. A lot of patches and repairs and updates have been included. Uh, one that I have talked to a couple of my friends that have a fairly large farms that they were waiting for because the 1.3.4 was having issues it wasn't um, really handling certain requests uh, in that version for very large from anything over one 1.5 petabyte uh, was um, um, having issues so there was a, a, a specific uh, issue and that seemed to have been resolved I will know more later in the week once they do their upgrade because they're very uh, careful about doing upgrades in their large farms. I don't want anything to, you know, cause a problem to the point where they stop farming. But nevertheless, what I want to do is I want to take you through that. I want to take you through some of the other things that Chia has announced, uh, a new standard for N NFTs. If you're into that, if you're into buying, um, swapping, doing whatever with them that you do, uh, there's a new standard being introduced with a lot of instructions on how to and we'll address that later in the video so let's get started with the uh, installation okay now that i uh, installed version 1.3.5 i actually started my wallet and my gui and I'm about uh, 180,000 or so behind full height, so I'm gonna have to wait for that to uh, finally uh, go into f you know the full height and um, and sync everything, my wallet and everything, and then I'll be playing with it. Uh, I have some three SSD drives that I have full of plots that I did uh, yesterday and today. My those I usually use so that I can delete any bad plots or any plots that don't open. Or any plots that after I do plot checks on the new drives uh, do not meet my minimum standards so I just delete them and replace them with the ones already done so I call them backup plots but being that I have them here now on this computer I might as well have this computer go with it, act as a server so that way um, I can you know enjoy the the plots and, and a couple maybe maybe I'll, I'll get lucky and hit a, a block with them but anyway uh, everything seems to be working fine I actually gone through all of the different pages and um, it's definitely uh, operating in the expected way. Uh, I also have open uh, the the uh, updates or the what well, they improve on the new uh, Chia page that I'm pretty excited about and what I want to do is go straight there and show you. So they added support for Ubuntu 3.10 they improved the performance in Harvester doing plot refreshes, especially these large farmers that were complaining that on the last upgrade, they were having certain specific issues going to certain sections of the GUI. So they will roll back to 1.3 to avoid that. Apparently this is fixes, so that'd be great. So if this fix that problem, they will no longer have to do some of these, uh, um, unless you are a large farmer, say a petabyte or uh, 1.5 petabyte or larger, uh, otherwise you wouldn't be aware of the problem but hopefully this will fix that they added two new commands to so CLI which is RPM and Deb I have no clue what those do but I will research it and get back to you with them once I find out they also fix an issue with coins will be go missing after you do a full update they fix that issue I suffered of that when I did an upgrade not, not when it was a full upgrade because I haven't haven't done a full upgrade in a good while now that I've taken several precautions I do a full backup uh, and I also um, like I said do test on my test computer which is separate from my server which is where my my uh, full farming and harvesting and everything else is going going on um, also they enable uh, something called pa paginated plots loading and improve the plot state responding state resp reporting so while i believe i only know half of what that means it means that the, the 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 records that it gives you on the process of the plot creation has been updated with more detail i'll know tomorrow because tomorrow i have to do some more uh, plotting um to some new drives i have so hopefully and yes i'm one of those guys that continues to buy drives and continues to increase his form you know hate me if you want 
and um, they also fix something called the the infinite loop of the Time Lord closing. I believe that was when you shut down and it just stayed, you know, circling, circling, and didn't actually close the program. Uh, if I'm wrong or if it's something else, leave me a comment below. Love to hear about it. Uh, and again. Any comments, good, bad, or indifferent, like I always say, leave them below. I love comments. I will get back to you. I read all the comments, believe it or not. Uh, simplify the install.sh for uh, Ubuntu. Uh, version tracking, fixed memory leak, which I did not not even know we had, uh, but apparently that's been fixed. Uh, fix the list of plot files in progress, which is good. Um, and uh, various former RPC improvements. They, they don't go into details. Uh, but hopefully they will be improvements and not issues that need to be uh, ha uh, fast, pa fa you know, pop, you know, patch real fast again, like we experienced back in from 1.2 and, and 1.3 and 1.4. Uh, improvements on the get plots. Uh, again, I haven't used that command often. In fact, I don't remember ever using it. But if you do, it's been fixed. And there's a one known issue, which is. That your, uh, that your harvester will now reconnect to the farm automatically like it used to, which was a function uh, that, that, that was a problem created in the 1.3.4. I only found out about it, believe it or not, three days ago uh, when I intended to set my main computer here, my recording computer, and as a harvester, just so that I can use the 10, 12, 15, whatever it is that I have an SSD attached to it through USB. Uh, just to add it to my form for now, and I, like, I, like I said earlier, I use those plots that I create outside of my regular form so that I can replace bad plots, plots that don't meet my minimum criteria or, or any uh, other issue that the plot may develop. So, and that's about it on the known, on, on the, at least on what they reported, the known issues. And uh, what I want to do is go real quick over to, uh, let's see. Okay. And as always, this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. Do not use my opinion to make any investments. Uh, I'm just a guy with a hobby. So I want to talk real quick, just go over the quick highlights on uh, the, the Chia's vision on the NFTs that are going to be, there's a new standard that being released. This standard will allow uh, you to be able to go ahead and create NFTs on the Chia net. It requires that you have two things. Um, something to create and post to for somebody to buy, art or music, whatever it is that you want to put it as an NFT. And the other one is the ability to do some simple, pro what they claim, simple programming and CLI to be able to create your NFTs. I'm actually, for the first time, tempted to, tempted to look at the instructions. Hopeful, hopefully, I'll have enough skills to follow through and just post something from my uh, toy collection. And I have enough toys I collected over the last 35 years. Uh, and, and if you didn't know, I collect Star Trek. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a trekker, not a trekkie. But I, I go back to my original comment. Um, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, several of my uh, YouTube friends that have their own channels have been talking about it all day. They are very excited about the whole thing. Um, and and they, they, they did a pretty good write-up. This is the first time I've seen a, a, such a good write-up. I don't, I don't want to bore you with just going over everything because uh, if, if you are interested, you'll, you'll go here. Uh, it's under the Chia, let's see, where is it under? Chia, uh, the vi uh, Vision, uh, let me see, what, I believe it's on the blog, let me see if it's true, yep, blog, so it was dated today, um, and, you know, they talk about the, the current challenges of the NFT today, not to mention what the news have released recently, Fox News, CNN, CNBC, I read, I read the, uh, the report about NFT profits and losses, and they're pretty much they read pretty much the same. Uh, but it was interesting to just get caught up. I mean, my son is a big NFT collector, um, which I'm happy for him because he enjoys it and he believes he's gonna uh, recoup or make money in the future because he has some really unique ones. Um, in fact, uh, as far as I understand it, the ones that he has are 
you are geo visible in the metaverse I'm not going to go into details because I don't have enough details. I may have to have a sit down with them and explain everything more in detail to me. But I, what I understand is with one of those uh, Google glasses or 3D glasses, you'll be able to see his uh, NFTs around his house. Literally based on a geographical um, GPS code, he actually has it floating in his house. I believe he has a, uh, a Del DeLorean park in his driveway. But... I don't want to bore you with those details. But anyway, um, then this is the plan that they talk about. They want to do something called Vertical Fine Art World. They want to, uh, they are seeking for uh, uh, artists that are interested in creating their first drop but have held off because of concerns around sustainability, inclusivity, and complexity in the NFT, uh, NFT space. I understand the complexity. That's the reason I stay out of it. Uh, the inclusivity, I didn't know that was an issue. Uh, maybe because of the third point, which is uh, the, the, the ability to uh, sustain this market. Meaning that if you are a, an NFT creator, are you able to financially earn enough to pay the fees and all the costs involved? Because the little knowledge I have on NFT was that you literally paid for everything. And by the time you sold something for X value, whatever that that is, you end up with Z value, which which a small fraction just due to all the costs involved. Everybody got paid but you at the end of a small amount. And again, this is not me criticizing. I have not enough knowledge to talk about it in depth other than what I've read and what I've heard. So, um, but apparently they are looking to use the blockchain to be able to sustain, inclu be inclusive and compliant with blockchains, uh, enable and real drive real world applications in the digital ownership through marketplace independence, consistent pro pro provenance, provenance. I got to look that up. And digital permanence. Well, digital permanence I get. I don't know what consistent provenance is. It might mean that it's, it's very easy to view or you can put it in such a way in different places that people can view your art. Uh, if you know what it is, please leave me a comment. Um, and, you know, it's a, a she is going to offer files for non-custody trading and no counterparty risk and right to exit from any centralized marketplace into the greater Chia NFT ecosystem. That sounds interesting. It's yet to be seen. I know that NFTs are locked to the place that you create it in. And unless you, you show it within that blockchain, you can't show it. Now, if that's false again leave me a comment but that's been the way i've been taught and and and, and understood it um, but anyway you can you're welcome to read this in detail and it's pretty long it talks about their their phase approach and i will go over that today they launched what phase one which they call they call NF, nft zero which is the functionality equivalent to nft standard to erc 721 and uh, the future launch, which will be uh, NFT1, is based on community feedback. The intent is to update the standard to deliver on the promise of independence, provenance, and permanence, which is going to be a big deal, apparently, uh, within their within their ecosystem, uh, Chi ecosystem, and the blockchain, obviously. So uh, it, they, they give you a link how to get started. I am actually going to look into this much more deeper and maybe give it a go and see if I'm successful because, um, you know, I, I can definitely afford to have enough Chia. Um, I, you know, I want to see how much it costs. I mean, it's a ridiculous cost. I won't get it. But if it's something reasonable, I'll probably do it and then maybe share with that with you in the video. Maybe you'll get into it. I don't know. And they have a lot of question and answers here, which are really good. Some of them are like basic, um, but some of them are very, very, very in-depth. I don't want to go over them because I don't want to make the video too long. This is going to be a quick video. It's just an announcement video. But I hope you enjoy this uh, and yourself got up to date. Uh, I'm also going to do a follow-up video. I'm still getting a lot of what I call 101 questions about, um, you know, something simple as I had three people today reach out to me and tell me, and one of them was in Reddit. He did not reach out to me directly, but I read it on Reddit. And I started laughing by myself, you know, uh, doing one of those laugh out, laugh out loud situations where nobody sees you so they don't think you're nuts. Uh, but where 
Um, the person was actually saying, the question is, how do I leave a farm within my GUI and move all my NFT plots without having to re-plot all of my plots to go solo? Okay, so most of you are looking at me are going to go, what? Yes, that's, that's literally some of the questions I'm getting. So I'm just going to do a quick video. Hopefully you'll watch it because you never know. You might pick up something. Um, and because I like doing those videos, I get a lot of response and a lot of views and I do get people to uh, subscribe. And again, this leads me to the next point that I always love to leave to last because I believe you'll remember it. If you like my videos, please click on like, please leave a comment. If it's just as small as thank you, I get a lot of those. I enjoy those. And if you have not subscribed, please do. And if you are really good to me, share, share with your friends who you never know. You might be helping one of them. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Again, this is not uh, financial advice. It's just a guy with a hobby. Have a great day.